Yo, we gotta go, man. You do this I'm every time. Can I eat? All right, come on. You about bro. to eat? Right, come on, now. Yeah, all right. all right, like, come on, like, you don't gotta rush me. Can all I right. please eat? All right, we got, we got to go, though, yo. Okay, we got to go. Can I eat? No, come up here, eat. Come on, we got to go, yo. Like, come on. I will. Like, damn, like, man, we do this every time. Ah. Wow, let me run that back. Like, damn, like, man, we do this every time. Wow, so it looks like she just threw a cup of hot noodles on that man's face. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Shouldn't have did what she did to me. My face messed up, my neck messed up. I got to walk around like this every day now. Like, she was mad earlier. We had an altercation earlier about what you gonna do when we stop. Like, I told her when we stop, you gotta clean up. Or if you driving and I stop or you stop, we get we got to clean up. We can't be just in this dirty truck. She always eating in the back and mad because I'm telling her she got to clean up her mess. And she telling me I'm going to do it later when I feel like it. I'm going to do it later when I get up. It was always an excuse. So I told her, yo, come up front. Like, because you always making a mess back there. Come up front. So she got mad and angry because I told her to come up front. And they're going to throw hot noodles on my face. And y'all thinking it's a game. Look at my face. Look at my neck. This not a game, man. I got to look like this every day. So this is the last part right here. I found this man's page on TikTok. And after the first two parts, a lot of the comments were saying that it's fake. Like this fake. It didn't really happen. I'll be completely honest with you guys. When I saw it, I thought, eh, I don't believe it's real either. And this is his rebuttal to that. This gentleman swears up and down that this actually happened. I'm reading all the comments right now. And y'all think that this is a game? Like, because I don't want to show y'all my scar. Like... You can see that is obviously me covering up something. The doctors didn't put this on me. I covered it up because when I go and make a video, I don't want to have my kids see me on camera with a big scar on their face and people at their school making fun of their dad. I'm not trying to pit my kids at that, so I cover this up to hide this because I'm ashamed how I look. And then y'all wondering why I'm still posting videos of her. They are old videos. I'm showing y'all the things that she did to me when I had with her because that was my proof. We came from one side of the city, one side of the state to the other side, from the West Coast to the East Coast. Of course, she still was going to be with me. I couldn't just kick her out the truck. She was with me, but I'm just going to make her leave. No, I couldn't. So I had to take her back to the home terminal so that I could show them my proof and then I could press charges on her. Yeah, I pressed charges on her. I'm done with her. She locked up and it's not my fault. Like, I tried to be a good person. And now, everybody coming down at me telling me that I'm lying about something that I got to deal with every day. Like, my mom and everybody calling me. And it's, uh, I, oh, it's just so frustrating, man. But I thank everybody that's really supporting me because that's what keep me pushing every day. And I appreciate that because I don't have nobody. I don't have a bunch of family members that I could talk to. It's only my mom. And y'all don't know what I done been through. I done been through trauma and stuff that makes me think that it's okay for a woman to put their hands on you. Because I'm trying to be kind and I'm trying to be nice and trying to, like, just not give her what she wants. She wanted me to hurt her. She... Here's the deal. People aren't making the natural assumption that you lied about it. It's not you. It's how social media operates. A lot of people will do anything to go viral. And fake situations, we all know this. But if it is in fact true, what my man says is in fact true that this situation actually takes place, of course it's BS, man. You're training someone else to be a driver and they constantly make mess in the truck. And when you tell them simply, come up front, eat up here because I don't want you to get mess in the back. And we got to go because we're on a schedule. And she throws a hot cup of noodles in your face. That's assault, man. Plain and simple. He has right here, click this link bio for full video it's on youtube i could not find his youtube channel i scanned his tiktok and couldn't find any information on it all i have is these clips i can only go off his words of his video if this is actually true i do believe training with women especially in these type of situations i wouldn't put past anybody I did find a comment i thought was pretty interesting after under one of these videos and it reads brother trucker says so as a truck driver who has trained I see this happening. I've been slapped across the face by a female student because I yelled at her for texting while driving. You don't know what we encounter. So so you guys let me know, especially my truck driver guys watching the video. Y'all let me know. Have y'all had any wild incidents trying to train women drivers? Y'all let me know down below. So this next clip, a man buys his teenage daughter in bed with her boyfriend at his house, and he put him out of his house. Apparently, the mom wants to check him. <laughs> What's up? 
You put your hands on my son? Caught him in the bed with my daughter. They don't give you a right to put your hands on my son. He know the don't. rules. He know the rules. Okay, come and over I there. tell him the rules, but they, you, they in the when it comes room. to they my children, you do not put your hands on my child. They don't go in the bedroom. Understood. They stay in the living room. Understood. Room. He put his hands on you, correct? Do not you, touch my child anymore. And you, I wouldn't touch your child. Don't. I, 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 I didn't I, hit him. I didn't hit him. I rocked him up. I put your out. hands. He knew the rules. It doesn't matter. You could have spoke to him. You didn't have to touch him. You didn't have to use physical force. So did you, you, know, did, I did, did you even know who he him. was? Where he was? I, he said he was going to a friend's house. I didn't know he was coming over here. Oh, so you don't keep tabs on your of own Of course side. I That's keep crazy. tabs on my son. That's crazy. And you need to watch your mouth because don't tell me what I'm doing. I'm telling you, telling you, don't put your hands on my child anymore. Is that understood? Hold on. Wait, wait right here. Baby, so yeah. I ain't waiting on nothing. And you can bring whoever you like. What, um, what, um, what did I catch y'all last night? In the room. Right, right, right. And, and okay. you already know that ain't no boy supposed to be in your room, right? Yes, but I didn't know he was going to stay overnight. Mm -hmm. He knows and you, the, and you know, but you know, but my rules, rules I'm not well you now. Stay overnight. Now, you know my rules as well. You do have to respect people's house when but, you are but, there. But, but, Mom, no, no, speak up. Because, you know, he said, tell, tell him what you told me. You said, when you Shia told me. No, no, no. Because he said it was her idea for him to go in the room. And she the one who wanted him to spend the night. So, yeah. Said she was there. Mm -hmm. First of all, who is this Transformer-ass ninja? It's always one. In any situation, it's always one wild card. One reckless person who tries to interrogate shit. I'm thinking this is a goddamn she-man in the background. But we'll move that to the side. A couple things about this situation. One, this is a conversation for men. This is a conversation conversation between that man with his daughter and this man's father. It's not even a conversation for the mom. I always say in these situations, where's the dad at? And then another thing, that woman came to that man's house and not right now, but earlier in the scene, the second she's going to be pointing and putting fingers in that man's face. I've said this before. Not only do I think women damn sure shouldn't put their hands on men, I don't think women should be pointing fingers in their face. I don't even think women should raise their voice to a man. You have no idea how that man might react because you 40 some years old and have been able to get in man's face your whole life or hope man and get physical with men you haven't come across every man and one man might slap the hell out of you put you in your natural place i had a daughter i came home and her boyfriend was in her bed i put her out too and i'll hold my daughter accountable as well drag you out my house if i need to you're in my house you don't live here and you know the rules i think this mom is kind of barking up the wrong tree she need to be looking at her son and holding him accountable for his actions not mad at my man don't tell her what you told me and then what he told us mm -hmm. Accusing my daughter no, of now how would you like it if I put my hands on your daughter? Yeah, you wouldn't like that at all with it. You wouldn't like that at all with it. You wouldn't go with that. Okay, so I'm right. Or I will. Or I will. You're not going to put your hands Ooh. on my son. This is how people get deleted, man. Popping up at somebody's house. You should have told me to come in. No you should have oh, stayed over. I told finger. you to come over. Oh, like, stay do over. not point the finger. So you told me to come in. You're really going to allow my brother like this. So this all started because what did you tell her I did? I threw you out, right? I didn't put my hand on touch you. You put your hands over. He told her he told, he told you picked him up, you rubbed him, and you threw him against the wall. You don't do all this. So you don't touch my kid. I threw you against the wall, man. I ain't had no problem with you out the house. After I found you laid up. You not my dad. All right, That's now, all right, all right. His dad need to be here having this conversation. Listen to me. He doing too much. Listen to me. For real. put your hands on my son anymore. Because we can take it there. Because we can take it there. We will take it Don't put your hands on my brother no more. If you want to do that, then good luck. Watch your, how about no you watch your daughter? Because you wouldn't have known he I've was here there. if she didn't stick him. So watch your daughter. I didn't okay? see him. It's both of them. He was not supposed to stay over. My dad knew that he was coming over. Hey, take now, it there. Because we can take it there. We like, will take it there. Don't put your hands on my brother if no more. Do, hey, that's the plan right there. If you right want to do that, then good he luck. Watch your How about you watch your daughter? Because you wouldn't have known he was here if she didn't stick him. So watch your daughter. I didn't stick him. He was not supposed to stay over. My dad knew that he was coming over. And I'm not going to tell you again. Don't put your hands on my son. You understand? Because how would you like it if I put my hands on your well, daughter? Well, yeah, he ain't allowed in my house no more. Okay, well, that? he's not going to come to your that? house. But like I said to you, how would you like if it is done to you? Okay, put the shoe on the other foot. All I know is if you, you, you 
can't be coming to my house with all this I'm, aggression. Look, Facts. I'm not coming to it with aggression if you didn't put your hands on him. That's the point I'm trying okay, to we're make. About to, we're about to close the door. Okay, well, you And if you come to my house again, you're going to have more problems in your cell. No, I'm right. not going to have no Don't problems. Don't bring nobody else to my doorstep, okay? And you definitely not going to touch me. Don't bring nobody else to my doorstep. All right, have a good day. 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 <laughs> That's crazy, man. Good. I'm not absolving older gentleman daughter from anything. He knew what it was. He knew it was. So both of them should be held accountable. You know, you're breaking the rules. I said it earlier. Y'all supposed to be in the living room, not in the bedrooms. You know he was breaking the rules. That means both of them. You notice how the mom is only focused on what father did. You put your hands on my son. Not that my son wasn't supposed to be here. And like my man called her out earlier, you don't even know where your son is at. The mother rolled up with her son, his, I don't know, his transformer brother, other woman. Why are you bringing four people to my house? And as the father said, don't come over my house again being aggressive because that's how people get hurt. You don't come to my house telling me what I can and can't do in my crib. Again, that's a conversation that I think should have been between two men, not this woman. That random transformer who get himself hurt out here. Trying to be tough. A skirt, but you guys let me know what you think. Better squad. Fall out.